Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Joe Fam coming at you with another video. This is day two of our 14 day challenge. Basically, we're doing all the scales. So, we're going from C major all the way straight through to B major. And then we're going to start on the minor scales after that. Basically, we're kind of learning and trying to memorize ourselves on how to learn the scale and how to learn the chords that build up the scale. So, it's kind of like just like a memory game. So, I'm sorry about my last video. I kind of left. Uh, the piano on the side out and basically what I did so if you don't know what I kind of did if you download MPC beats It's a free software uh, Usually you click on this little icon. It's a little plug-on icon right here I just chose one that I already have but it would say MPC plugins use where it says electric They'll give you like a piano sound. I'm just using Keyscape for now my own personal VST Just so I can you know get an actual piano sound. It's a little bit better <laughs> uh, But the, you know, it's still good what comes with it. So it still can teach you you can use anything it's just good to have actually like a piano sound so you can understand what we did so basically last week we went over the C major scale which is everything on the white keys on a keyboard so that's your C D E F G A B and then it repeats back on the C which is the next octave up so basically today we're gonna start on the D major scale and like I said, you want to make sure you put your pad performer here in chromatic chords. So make sure that's selected. Uh, you can do the octaves of four. That's fine. Keep it at the major scale. And that's the scale right here. So we're doing major. So that's D major. And that's what we're going to start with today, which would be the D major. So same thing, kind of you want to set an eight bar loop. It's just so you can have all the scales laid out. From you. you can see the bars up here you can select it to eight bars and you kind of just want to record it in so you would just hit like the record button right here and then you would hit play or space bar and then I'll record in everything so I know my last video I was basically doing everything through my NPC so you might have been a little lost so I want to apologize to that but basically to this extent I made it a little bit more easier hopefully so you could follow along so like I said you want to select it we're going to do a D major scale D major scale has D E and now if you notice now there's an F sharp so there's an F sharp and then it goes G A B C sharp so this has two sharps in the scale which would be the F sharp and the C sharp. Uh, and it's kind of like good to memorize this, like I said. So you want to repeat it over and over. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. Kind of like, and then you can make like your own little rhythm to it if you want. You know, if, you, if it makes you remember, whatever makes you kind of remember what it is. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. What? No, I'm just joking. But anything that you could try to remember, and you can repeat that over and over and over and over and over. And then, like I said, now we're going to record in these uh, chords so we can see exactly what it looks like. So I'll just do it from here. I'm just going to use my MPC, as you can see on my screen, just so I can hit the record button a little bit faster and play it. And then... Like I say, you can do it up here and then hit the space bar. So either way, you could still do it. You don't need a Akai product to do this, but you know, it kind of helps. So I'm just gonna hit the record button right now. D E F sharp G A sharp A B C sharp and then. Then obviously we go back to D. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I messed that up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's D E F sharp G A B C sharp, not B sharp C sharp. So try not to get too confused. And now we're gonna go look at everything now of uh, what we just played. Which is right up here. <laughs> I started a little late. That's what kind of threw me off uh, my finger. But yeah, so basically D right here. So you can see it right here. D F sharp right there and then you'll see that a so D, F sharp a. right and then we go to the E and on this scale when we hold it what do we get we get E see how you get it? so you get E G sharp B and like I said you're not too sure you go go down to E major scale, E, G sharp, B. See? And then same thing. You can even just select from this. You don't even have to relook, but it's good to kind of visualize what it is. 
Uh, like I said, next we did, uh, when you go to the D major scale, you're gonna notice F sharp. Now we want to look at F sharp, F sharp. So it starts on the sharp, so F sharp. So it's all black keys for this one. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. It's all the sharps. Basically kind of like the same thing as the F major scale, which is face, F, A, C. With the sharp, it's basically all of them just with the sharps. That's a good way to remember. So F sharp and F is easy to remember. Just remember F, A, C, face. Or F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Um, that's a good way. G. Scroll down to here. So now you can see it's G, B, D. G, B, D. I'm gonna double check. G, B, D. So you can still see it right there. Um, same thing. Go to the next one, A, which is your A, C sharp, E. Like I say, A major scale will always be the same. And that's the thing, because you're kind of repeating, so you're going to learn what these scales are, because you're going to do them basically in the previous. Like if we, when we did the C major scale, we did A, we did B. You know, the only difference now are just the two C sharp and the F sharp. So now with the F sharp, C sharp, see how it's a little bit different now. Now we're looking at C, C sharp, F, G sharp. And that's how you kind of just, you know, we look at it. Like I said, I'm actually going to learn it with you guys because I do know the scales, but I don't remember them by heart. So I'm actually, I'm refreshing my brain. So by me doing this, I'm relearning as well. So I'm basically kind of learning with you guys. That's why I'm like taking a little break, like, hold on, let me see really quick. But you could figure it out what it is. So if you're not too sure, like, okay, what is that? All right, so that's C. I see the C sharp. Okay. You know, I see the F. Okay. And then I see the G sharp. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, and basically that's how you can just look at it if you're not too sure yeah so unfortunately it doesn't really show you like it only just shows you the major or flats um, it doesn't show you the sharps but you like I said you can always google it to verify what we looked at just to make sure um, but like I said so we went from the C major scale which was C D E F G A B right now if you notice when we go to the D sharp D major scale we notice that there's a C sharp and an F sharp and they're right like on top of each other. This may help you, you know, remember this as well too. It's like, oh, I remember in the program, you know, it was F sharp and then C sharp kind of like right on top of it. So I know like, you know, F and C. And that's another thing. Like come up with like different ways to help you remember, you know, even if like little jokes like F and C, you know, um, <laughs> F sharp, C sharp, even though you want to remember F sharp, C sharp, so it's not F and C, um, like how it would be you know obviously on a c major scale but you know just different to whatever way to make you remember something f sharp c sharp um and so there's two sharps in a d major scale so now that we dived into the d major scale like i said now we could just lay out a beat and this is how you're just going to practice making beats you kind of just want to recall what you did and it's good to just learn the four fundamentals and a lot of uh beats or a lot of songs are done like every other chord so it's usually like E sharp A C sharp and then you could just kind of just finding whatever works you know those are still chords but if you put it back in notes then you know. and like i said once again you just always want to repeat that b b d f sharp f sharp c sharp c sharp b b c sharp b e g kind of just repeat it over and over and over i'm telling you this is going to help you in the long run it's kind of going to help me too because i'm eventually going to start learning my uh, scales better by just repeating it over time and every time you play something and even if you're just doing the chords once you have it kind of memorized then you're gonna know hey D F sharp A D F sharp A D F sharp A D F sharp A and it's just repetitive over and over and over and over so this is day two like I said the D major scale we're just gonna keep going down the list so next one we're gonna do the E major scale 
like I said, this is something we're all learning together. You know, I'm relearning all this myself. I need to relearn this myself. So now that I'm like full time in the studio, I kind of got to remember this, how to, to do it over and over and over. So I'm basically doing the same steps with you guys. I'm trying to repeat myself over and over and over to it drills in my head. D E F sharp G A B C sharp and then go back. So what's the so what's the C major chord? C D E F G A B. Okay, now it's the D major chord. D E F sharp G A B C sharp. Bring it back to C major. Kind of bounce between the two. And then once you have the two, it's kind of like every day you're adding a new um, layer. So like I said, then you're gonna go back to obviously when we do the E major next day. You know, we'll go back from E major, so it'll be like E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. Now, what's, now what was uh, D major again? D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. And kind of just repetitive over and over and over. And I'm really hoping this helps. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this challenge is helping you to learn, kind of re-memorize how to get through the scales, how to try to remember the notes in each scale. This is just like a tip. It's just, it's repetitive over and over and over. And I feel like repetitive could be a good way for certain people this may not be your way of learning but for me it works a lot for to repeat something over and over and over and over until it's triggered in my head just like when you work a regular day job in and out you're doing the same job over and over and over and then you can do it with your eyes closed and once you do it with your eyes closed then you can look on a keyboard and be like bang i can play this really quick you know even without knowing how to move your fingers around quickly it's just you just know okay this is this chord this is that chord this is this chord and then you're training your ear and you want to listen to it Listen to that sound, D, how it sounds when it's made up. D, F sharp, A. Really listen to it. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think below. And I'll uh, see you next one when we do the E major scale. See you guys later. Peace.